zomygodcj.com. Hey guys, this is Clinton Jeff from zomygodcj.com. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about the camera on the Nokia N86 8 megapixel. Now as you can see the uh, N86 has an 8 megapixel camera right there. It also has a dual LED flash and a camera lens protector. Um, unfortunately the camera lens protector has a bit of the problem that the original N97 had where it scratches the lens right there. But as you can see thanks to its construction it just scratches the area around the actual lens and not the lens itself. Which is basically a small but good point I guess. The camera UI itself is basically the uh, same N-series UI that you're pretty much used to. Basically you focus with the dedicated camera key right there and you can also zoom in and zoom out with the volume keys right there. Um, taking a picture is basically the same, you half press the camera the key, get it to focus and press it harder just to take the picture. Processing time is pretty fast as you can see. Uh, then you have various options like sending it, uploading it, um, adding it to your, going through your photos, uh, adding it to an album, details or deleting the uh, picture. You can also um, send it to your printer, set it as wallpaper, assign it to a contact, rename, a whole bunch of stuff right there when you take a picture. Um, as you can see the, there's also a panorama mode on the uh, N86. Basically, it's um, the same as taking a normal picture. You half press it, let it focus, and then take the picture. And then you just move it along, and as you can see there, it'll take the next picture and basically stitch them all together and make a panorama picture. Processing time in this case is a little bit longer because it's actually taking two pictures and stitching them together. Um, but it's not too bad if you really want to take a panorama picture, I guess it's worth it. Uh, then you can view it right there, same basic options as a normal picture right there. Um, so that's panorama mode. There's also a video mode um, that's pretty much exactly the same as other NCU's devices. Um, taking a video is basically the same, you press the camera key to start, take the video, you can see the counter right there. Uh, and then press the camera key again to stop the video and there you go again you basically have the same options but you can play the video send it, upload it go to the photos, add to an album, details and delete it video mode also has a couple options right there as you can see there are different scene modes like automatic and night um, which will depend on how you're taking the video um, there's also a couple other options right there There's um, switching the video light on where it uses the dual LED flash right there as the video light um, You can also adjust your white balance um, To automatic sunny a couple of other options You can also adjust your color tone Take a video in different color tones right there And go to your photos video is recorded at basic uh, VTA resolution I guess in MP4. Um, you can also go for a lower quality if you want to get a smaller size on the uh, video. You can also have GPS info and video stabilization and audio recording. A whole bunch of options there for video recording on the uh, N86. Alright, going back to um, photo mode, you can see there are a lot more options there. You can define uh, your own bunch of settings over there. You can also go to close-up mode, portrait, landscape, whole bunch of things over there. Um, you can also switch the uh, flash on or to reduce red eye or to off. There's a self-timer in case you want to self-time a picture before you take it. Um, there's also a sequence mode which can be really useful for a couple of funny pictures and go to the photo album there. You can also customize your toolbar if you want to add more shortcuts to it. Um, this toolbar, the default toolbar, should be good enough for you, but in case you want to add a shortcut, there's all types over there that you can add to it. Now, images are taken at full 8 megapixel quality, um, but you can also choose a smaller quality if you want to get a smaller size image. The N86 also allows you to geotag your pictures right there. 
Um, you can also add to an album, show your captured image, bunch of options right there. And um, there's also face detection, which is very useful. Right, so I couldn't get any of my friends to actually stand in line for this. But um, as you can see, the N86 face detection does work pretty well. Um, I've seen it detect on up to maybe six uh, faces, as you can see it detected uh, some of them right there. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool when you um, press the camera key, it just focuses on one. But uh, face detection, pretty cool. Another good thing about the uh, N86 is its variable aperture uh, wide angle lens, which means you get more uh, on the subject compared to traditional uh, cameras. So yeah, um, the camera on the N86, as you can see, it's pretty, pretty decent. Uh, day daytime shots are really amazing. Nighttime is pretty okay. It's still not as good as a Xenon flash would have been, but it's pretty decent, better than most ULD uh, flashes nowadays. The N86 is also pretty decent at low light situations. Um, otherwise, yeah, it's a pretty good camera. Uh, it's now my main camera phone uh, for daytime pictures. So yeah, for more on this, check out our post on zomygod.cja.com.